Hey guys, today we are in Volkswagen Golf with a MIP2 um, infotainment system made by Technisat and I'm going to try to show you how to connect with the unit and browse the file system using, using FTP protocol. So, uh, first of all, you need to install MIP2 standard toolbox. I've already made a video about it, so you can check it. There's a link in the description below this video and a pop-up banner over here. And uh, what's next? Uh, you need to turn on the Wi-Fi in the unit. So we are going to the menu, scroll to the right, go to the setup section. And over here you are looking for uh, LAN settings, wireless LAN settings, and mobile hotspot. Enable the hotspot, uh, check what's the Wi-Fi name and what's the uh, what's the password to connect. Store those settings and to wait a few seconds for them to apply. And after those uh, few seconds, you can uh, go to your uh, to your computer over here and look for uh, mobile hotspots. Okay, I have the MIP to access point hotspot available. So let's connect to it. Let's enter the password. Connect. And in, in a few seconds I should be connected to it. Back to the unit. Press and hold menu button and to over here we are going to enter the toolbox and we need to enable the FTP access uh, in the unit because by default it's not available. So over here let's go to green menu. MIP standard to toolbox network activate telnet and FTP access until the next reboot okay and over here we have IP address of the unit 192.168.2.1 and this is the uh, configuration that we need to enter in a uh, FTP client application like this one this is forklift but there are many other um, uh, free uh, free applications so we need to enter the IP address of the server this is the MIP2 unit with this address this IP address that I've just showed you username is root and password also root so let's save it and let's connect and we are locked in right now we can make some changes you have to be extra careful what you are doing over here because this is a raw access to the file system if you mess something up you can easily break break the head unit so right now i'm going to uh, overwrite some of the files with my custom made uh, icon and uh, and sounds and we will check if that worked Okay, I've replaced some files, the CarPlay exit icon and the speech dialogue system sounds. So right now I can disconnect from the unit, close the application, go back over here, exit the menu, and I need to reboot um, the unit for two reasons. One, I want this FTP access to be disabled, so we need to reboot the unit to disable it. And two, those changes that I've made in the... Um, sounds and graphics will be applied after next system start so i need to reboot the system that's why i need to press and hold the volume knob for about 10 seconds and after 10 seconds um, the screen will go off you can release the button wait for the system to start up again hopefully it's not broken by those changes that uh, that we've made uh, and after a couple more seconds, you need to give it some time to load all the all the options. For example, CarPlay is not available yet. About half a minute and everything will be loaded and ready to go. And we will check if the sound notification when using the voice control is any different. And um, I can um, tell you that I've replaced the factory sounds with the Apple Siri ones. So the voice control over here should sound the same as the Siri on your iPhone. Cancel. 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 
Okay, so everything seems to be working. In the description below this video, you will find those details about connecting uh, connecting through the FTP protocol to your MIP2 Technisat unit. And that's it for today. Give me a thumbs up if you like this uh, video and subscribe for future ones. See you soon.